Okay, so today we're going to be dealing with Snell's Law. And as hopefully you know, uh, different materials have different indices of refraction. So when, when light uh, travels from one material to another, the light is going to bend. This is commonly uh, seen in, in a glass of water with a straw in it. If you look at the straw, it appears to bend uh, as it enters the water, which of course it doesn't, so straight. But uh, anyway, so the way it works is if we start in one material and its index of refraction is N1, it's going to be incident upon uh, the surface of the material at some angle theta 1. Notice how we measure the, uh, the angle off the uh, normal of the plane of the surface. Then it's going to travel through and its new angle, uh, again off the uh, normal of the surface, is going to be theta 2 and the new material has uh, n2 as its index of refraction. The way we can uh, solve for the different numbers is if, if three of the variables are known, then we can solve for the fourth using the relation that n1 sine beta 1 is equal to n2 sine beta 2, and that's Snell's law. Okay, so as you can see, we have everything set up right now. We have our light source, we have our uh, semicircle of an optic, and it's anchored down onto uh, an optics table. And underneath the optics table, there's a little handle that we can use to rotate um, just this part of the table, leaving the light source uh, fixed. So if we go back to our initial position, we'll notice that the, the light is entering and exiting at zero degrees. However, as we rotate it, even by just say 10 degrees, we'll, we see that the angle of incidence is 10 degrees, but the refracted angle is almost 15 degrees. And if we continue to rotate it, we're going to hit what we call the critical angle. And theoretically, the critical angle is where all the light gets refracted or all the light that is refracted gets refracted at uh, 90 degrees. However, what we're actually going to see is all the light just disappearing. And we want to figure out where precisely the light disappeared. So if we play around with it a little bit, we can figure that out. 